In this video I'm going to demonstrate how to make a map layout that you can use to uh, share your map with others or make a nice uh, printed uh, sheet of a map. Um, I've got this map of Africa, it's just a general reference map with some labeling uh, that we created in the previous videos and so this is what I'm going to use for my layout. I'll start by going up to the project and uh, it's new print layout and give it a name. Uh, this gives me an empty canvas that I can use. Uh, right now it's a different orientation and size than I want. I just want this on 8.5 by 11 letter size piece of paper at portrait orientation. So I can right click and change the page properties, uh, change the size to letter and the orientation to portrait. And now I need a map. So the way that I would do that is go to this little button to add a new map to the layout and drag the size that I want. Now the map appears uh, from my other frame here, but uh, if I try to zoom to it with the scroll wheel, uh, I'm just going to get frustrated because it's going to zoom into the page itself, uh, not the map. So to actually navigate the map, I need to choose this button to move item content. And uh, now when I scroll wheel, it, it zooms. This was designed at 1 to 40 million, so I'm just going to type that in and then just pan the ma map a little bit. This will be good uh, for my purpose. So I've got my map frame. Let's put a north arrow on there. Uh, I can insert an image using this button here. Just drag and drop the size. Uh, your company might have a, a north arrow image they like to use or that you're required to use. Uh, or you can click search directories like I did and we can just select one. Um, we like the Seattle Mariners, so maybe we'll just use this kind of arrow. Um, we want it to be subtle, it's put in the background. Note that if north is not up, you're going to have to rotate the, the north arrow yourself so that it points up. Uh, we can put a title in here. Let's use the text box uh, to do that. So drag and drop, change the title, and you can change the font too. So click this. Uh, we definitely want a larger size, and maybe we'll put an uh, interesting font for our title like this. So uh, what else do we want to do here? Um, we can put an inset map in. Let's say we wanted to focus on Egypt. Uh, so we can put a second map down here uh, that's zoomed into Egypt. Uh, to do that, you just add a new map like we did the first time. Drag and drop where we want it to go. Move the map. So we can zoom this into Egypt. Uh, let's say we want to scale 1 to 15 million. That'd be good here. And we're also going to turn on a frame so that we've got um, a border around it. Um, and then maybe we want to link it visually to this map, uh, uh, the main map, by putting a little box around uh, the area that's covered by the inset. So to do that, I'm going to go to my symbol selector, or my item selector, and select the main frame. And uh, we do this in the overviews area. So I'm going to add an overview and connect it to map 2. And now I've got a red box showing where the inset area is. Now I want to change this to be just you know, some kind of basic uh, red outline. Oh boy, there, I like this uh, selector better. And we'll change the fill style to no brush. So uh, coming back out of this, uh, now I've got just kind of more, this more subtle red line around the area showing where my inset covers. Um, the last thing I'll show here is how to add a scale bar. Uh, there's a little scale bar button, and like everything else, you can drag uh, showing the area you want to cover. This is going to cover uh, 1,000 kilometers and each uh, two sections of 500 units each. So if we wanted just one section of 1,000, we could do it like this and then take this down to, uh, to one. Uh, this is too black and bold here. It's catching the eye, and scale bar should be very subtle. So I'm going to change the style from single box to just the line ticks up and uh, that's a little easier on the eyes. And now I've got my map that's complete. So uh, if I'm ready to share this, I can go up and click to either export it as a PDF, that allows me to save it on disk as a PDF, uh, or I can save it to an image, uh, PNG, JPEG, or whatever my client needs. And so now I've got uh, my finished map product.